For centuries, historians believed advanced machines were a product of the modern age, that gears, precision engineering, and complex calculations belonged to the era of computers and industry. But buried deep in the past are inventions that defy that timeline. Devices so sophisticated they shouldn't have existed, yet somehow they did. From ancient engines to mysterious calculators, these creations prove that our ancestors were far more ingenious, and perhaps far more advanced, than we've been taught to believe. In this video, we'll uncover five ancient machines that worked long before their time, inventions that powered cities, tracked the stars, and harnessed forces we thought only modern science could control. These aren't myths, they're real artifacts that force us to rethink what ancient technology was truly capable of. The Antikythera Mechanism In 1901, sponge divers off the coast of Antikythera, Greece, stumbled upon the wreck of an ancient ship. Among the statues and relics was something no one could explain, a corroded lump of bronze filled with intricate gears. It took decades before scientists realized what they were looking at. The Antikythera Mechanism, a device built more than 2,000 years ago that could predict eclipses, track the motion of the planets, and even mark the dates of ancient Olympic Games. X-ray scans revealed over 30 precision-cut bronze gears, each interlocking perfectly to represent the movements of celestial bodies. It was essentially a mechanical computer, created at least 1,500 years before anyone else in history attempted something similar. The craftsmanship was so advanced that experts still debate how ancient Greeks achieved it without lathes or precision tools. The mechanism's inscriptions suggest it was built around 100 BCE, possibly inspired by the teachings of Archimedes or Hipparchus. But here's the real mystery. No other device like it has ever been found. It's as if this level of engineering appeared out of nowhere and then vanished for centuries. Modern replicas confirm that it worked flawlessly, turn the crank, and the gears move in harmony, aligning the sun, moon, and planets exactly as they appeared in the ancient sky. It's proof that ancient minds weren't just philosophers or mathematicians. They were engineers capable of building a working analog computer thousands of years ahead of its time. Hero's Steam Engine Long before the Industrial Revolution filled the skies with steam, a Greek inventor named Hero of Alexandria built a machine that would have fit right in beside a 19th-century locomotive. Around the 1st century CE, Hero created what we now call the Aeolipile, a small, spherical device powered entirely by steam. It was, quite literally, the world's first jet engine. The design was deceptively simple. Hero mounted a hollow metal sphere on two pivot points. Steam entered through a pipe at the top, and two bent nozzles on the sphere's sides expelled it outward. When the water inside boiled, jets of steam shot from the nozzles, causing the sphere to spin rapidly, exactly the same principle that drives modern jet turbines. The Aeolipili was mostly viewed as a novelty, a temple curiosity to amuse or awe visitors. But the physics behind it were revolutionary. Hero had discovered that steam could produce mechanical motion, the core concept behind every engine that powers our world today. What's mind-blowing is how far ahead this was for its time. The Aeolipile worked perfectly, yet the idea of harnessing steam for practical use didn't resurface until nearly 1,700 years later during the 18th century. Historians still debate why. Some argue ancient societies simply lacked the materials to scale it up. Others believe it was dismissed as a mere toy, not a tool. Either way, Hero's invention stands as proof that the ancients understood far more about physics, pressure, and propulsion than we often give them credit for. His spinning globe of steam wasn't just a gadget, it was a glimpse into a technological future the world wouldn't catch up to for millennia. The Baghdad Battery In 1938, workers digging near Baghdad, Iraq, uncovered a small clay jar that would ignite one of archaeology's strangest debates. Inside the vessel was a copper cylinder, a corroded iron rod, and traces of an acidic residue possibly vinegar or wine. It didn't look like much. But when researchers at the time tested replicas of it, they made a shocking discovery. It could generate electricity. This curious artifact became known as the Baghdad Battery, and it dates back to around 200 BCE, nearly 2,000 years before the invention of the modern battery. 
When filled with an acidic liquid, the combination of copper and iron created a tiny electric charge, enough to produce about one volt of power. So what was it for? That's where the mystery deepens. Some researchers believe it might have been used for electroplating, coating jewelry and metals with thin layers of gold or silver. Others think it had religious or medicinal uses, possibly for delivering mild shocks during rituals. Skeptics argue it may have been nothing more than a storage container that accidentally resembled a battery structure. Still, the fact remains. It worked. Modern reconstructions confirm that the design is functional. It's hard to ignore the possibility that ancient craftsmen might have understood basic electrical principles, long before Benjamin Franklin ever flew a kite. The Baghdad battery challenges our assumptions about ancient science. If a civilization over two millennia ago could create a working battery, what else might they have discovered and forgotten? Whether it was an accident, a curiosity, or a genuine experiment in electricity, this little clay jar remains one of history's most electrifying enigmas. Archimedes's Screw Long before pipes, pumps, and electric motors, one man figured out how to move water uphill, with nothing but wood, metal, and pure ingenuity. That man was Archimedes of Syracuse, one of the greatest inventors of the ancient world. Around 250 BCE, he created a device so effective that it's still used today, the Archimedes Screw. The design was elegantly simple. Imagine a long, hollow tube wrapped around a central screw-shaped shaft. When the lower end was placed in water and the handle turned, the rotation trapped water between the blades and carried it upward through the spiral. With each twist, water climbed higher until it poured out the top, effortlessly defying gravity. Ancient records say Archimedes built it to drain water from the royal shipyards of King Hiram II, but the design's brilliance quickly spread. Farmers used it to irrigate crops, miners used it to remove flood water, and engineers used it to move liquids and grains. Its efficiency was unmatched. No power, no pressure, just physics. What's truly astonishing is that this 2,000-year-old invention is still in use today, not just in developing regions, but in modern hydroelectric plants and irrigation systems. Engineers have refined the materials, but the core principle hasn't changed. It's one of the few ancient machines that never went obsolete. The Archimedes screw proves that some ideas are timeless. It took one genius, a problem, and an understanding of nature's mechanics to create a device that outlived empires and centuries. While many ancient machines were lost to time, this one kept turning, a symbol of human innovation at its purest. The Roman concrete mixer and crane system. The Romans were master builders, engineers who raised aqueducts, temples, and amphitheaters that still tower over Europe today. But their true genius wasn't just in design, it was in the machines that made those wonders possible. Two of the most important, the Roman concrete mixer and the treadwheel crane, worked together to build an empire that seemed unstoppable. Roman concrete, or opus caementitium, was a revolutionary material. Unlike modern cement, it could harden under water and actually grew stronger with time. The secret ingredient was volcanic ash, known as pozzolana, which created a chemical reaction that resisted cracks and decay. To mix it on massive construction sites, Romans built large wooden drums and paddle-like mixers turned by oxen or human labor, an early form of a mechanized cement mixer. But mixing was only half the challenge. Lifting the colossal stones that formed Roman architecture required equally impressive ingenuity. That's where the treadwheel crane came in a giant wooden wheel powered by men walking inside it, like human hamsters. As the wheel turned, it pulled ropes that lifted multi-ton blocks with astonishing precision. Some cranes could raise weights of over 6,000 pounds, and by combining several cranes, the Romans assembled entire temples stone by stone. Together, these machines transformed construction forever. The Colosseum, the Pantheon, and countless aqueducts owe their existence to this combination of chemistry and mechanics. Modern engineers still study Roman concrete for its unmatched durability, a formula we only recently managed to replicate. The treadwheel crane, meanwhile, was so effective that versions of it were used well into the Middle Ages. These machines didn't just build cities, they built legacies. And like the empire itself, their brilliance continues to shape the modern world. The deeper we look into history, the more we realize that our ancestors were anything but primitive. The Antikythera mechanism, 
Hero steam engine, the Baghdad battery, Archimedes screw, and the Roman construction machines, each one is proof that human innovation isn't limited by time. Thousands of years before modern science, ancient inventors were already experimenting with physics, chemistry, and mechanics in ways we're still trying to fully understand. These machines shouldn't have existed, they shouldn't have worked, yet somehow they did, flawlessly. And that's what makes them so fascinating. They remind us that progress doesn't always move in a straight line. Knowledge can be lost, rediscovered, or even hidden in plain sight. Maybe the real mystery isn't how these machines worked, but how many more like them are still buried, waiting to be found.